Hey guys, before this video begins, don't forget to check out Sweet Grip. Their link is in the description and use code CYBER for 5% off of any purchase. Now let's get right into the video. Hey guys, what is going on? Cyber here and today we're at a lo different location. We're here on my desktop actually and today we're going to be doing like the second part I guess to the Pokemon Go hack I uploaded a couple days ago. Now a lot of people have been asking me like uh, it's not working. What do I do? It's not working. And that's because they updated the game to 1.1.0 I think it is. The one where they took away the three step system. But it no longer works. It got banned. So I'm going to be doing a different hack. This one works with 1.1.1.1.0 1 .1 I think it is. I don't know. The recent update. This one works with it. Unfortunately, you're going to need a PC, but you don't need a jailbroke phone. You just need a regular iPhone and a PC. Okay, so we're just going to start, I guess, right here. So the very first steps, you're going to need your phone plugged into your computer like with the USB so it's charging. And then you're also going to need iTunes downloaded on your computer. And you're going to need to sign into your iTunes on your computer so like they're connected and stuff. Okay, once you finish that, you're going to need to go and download these two things. Now, these links will be in the description. So go to Cydia Impactor and download whatever you have, a Mac or a Windows. I have Windows, so I downloaded Windows. And then once that downloads, it's going to look like, which one was that? This. It's going to be these, okay? And then you're going to go and you're going to download this file too, and that's going to be that, okay? So once you guys finish that... You're going to come back to your desktop and you're just going to simply create a new folder and you're going to call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Cydia. And then you're going to put that into there. You're going to go in. And then you're going to right click and you're going to hit extract here. Okay. And then once you do that, all of these are going to pop up. So now you're going to click on that and you're going to hit open. Don't hit run, hit open. Okay? Then once you do that, you're going to get that one. And then if you need to go onto your phone and you need to unlock it. Okay? So you need to go in where your apps are and you can swipe around. You're going to need to unlock your phone. And then maybe actually exit out of this and then open it again with your phone unlocked. And then it should work. Alright guys, so it is not working for me, and I know why, it's because I already have the app, so it's not going to work for me, but your iPhone or device, whatever you called it, whenever you first got your iPhone, it should be popping up, so mine would be like uh, my name and then iPhone, and then basically you would just put this into here, and then you would have to have a device up there, but then you just put that into there, and it will start downloading, okay? Okay, so that's going to start downloading, and once it's done downloading, a app is going to pop up in your iPhone, and it's just going to be another Pokemon Go. And I should have mentioned this earlier, but before you do all this, you're going to need to delete your uh, first Pokemon Go, like the original Pokemon Go. You're going to need to delete that off of your phone, or else it will not work. So don't worry if you didn't delete it, just go back and do the impactor right click and open and just download it again with the other app deleted and just do that and you'll be fine but then you're gonna go in your iPhone okay so I know actually I'll start recording my iPhone screen and I'll put it up right now so you guys should be seeing an iPhone screen right about hold up right about <laughs> one sec guys I'm sorry all right guys so I don't know why but the file that I recorded on my iPhone just will not go into my uh, what's it called my Sony Vegas and it just will not work it j just comes up not responding every time I put a phone file in there I've tried it like six different times it's just not working so just listen to the directions I give you and if you don't understand them just tell me in the comments and I'll help you 
but just try to listen to the directions I tell you and try to do them yourself on your own phone. But yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know why it's not working. Um, whatever. Just on with the video, I guess. Alright, so you guys should be seeing an iPhone screen right about now. And basically, you need to go to settings. And then you need to go into general. And then... You would need to go under under device management, and it's gonna say your email. I'm not gonna go under because you guys can't see my email. So you're gonna need to go under device management, and your email will pop up. Click that one, and then trust it, and then go back, and you'll be able to open up your Pokemon. But yeah, guys, that's basically the hack. It's much better than the last one in my opinion, but it's also a little harder to get in my opinion. Um, if you guys weren't able to get the hack, just write that in your comments your problem, and I will try to help you. Um, I know there was this one glitch where whenever I first got the app, it whenever I would try to catch a Pokemon, it would just run away and then say error. Basically, whenever that happens, just restart your app just like this, and then it should be fine. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, slap that like button. Like I said, if you have any problems, tell me them down in the comments. And subscribe if you're new, guys. I'm out, guys. Peace.